The whole point of jailbreaking your iDevice essentially is to get Cydia and all of the plethora of jailbreak tweaks that you can download from Cydia that allow you to change pretty much whatever your heart desires on your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. Thing is, you've jailbroken, you've installed Cydia, you opened it, were immediately overwhelmed and closed it. I don't blame you. And when you're new to jailbreaking and you open Cydia for the first time and you've heard all these horror stories that are all greatly over-exaggerated, by the way, um, Cydia itself can seem a little intimidating compared to the prim and proper Apple App Store that you're used to. But once you get the hang of how to use it, it'll open up a whole new world of customization options that'll leave other non-jailbroken iPhone users in complete and utter confusion and envy. And isn't that enough reason to give it a try? Okay, when you first open Cydia, you're presented with the home screen. Here's where you'll find access to the creator of Cydia, Jay Freeman, aka Sarek, and Cydia-related news. Check out the featured tweaks in various categories, a great place to get started with what tweaks you might want to use to get your feet wet, by the way. Followed by what seemed to me to be ads for various jailbreak tweaks, some help articles, and a place to manage your account. Cydia uses PayPal or Amazon Payments to accept payments for apps, but it uses Facebook or Google to authenticate you, and it's a good idea to go in here and connect one of these automatically, as you can then sign back in with this account whenever you need to restore tweaks that you've previously purchased. After poking around there, you'll notice four other tabs along the bottom of the screen. The first is sources. Sources, also sometimes called repositories, are the places that Cydia checks for apps, essentially. Think of the Apple App Store as having just one repo, the Apple one, that it checks for apps, while Cydia actually allows third parties to have their own apps hosting on their own repositories. When you first open this, you'll already notice a few in here, like Big Boss, Mod My Eye, etc. And for the most part, most of the tweaks are going to come from these, as they're just the most popular. The only time you'll ever really need this screen is if you stumble upon a jailbreak tweak featured on a website that is hosted in its own repo. In that case, you'll be required to come here, click Edit, then Add, and put in the provided repo's URL before that tweak will be able to be found in the search section. Next up, we have Changes. For the most part, this section is where you can see a running list of all of the changes made to various tweaks throughout the Cydia store, sorted by date and alphabetical order. Next is installed, which, as you can guess, shows you all of the tweaks you've installed. If you change the tab at the top from user to expert, you'll also see a list of the different packages that those tweaks have installed that they need to run, but aren't necessarily tweaks in themselves, if that makes sense to you. Moving it to recent shows you all of the tweaks in chronological order instead of alphabetical, in case you need to get rid of a tweak you recently installed as it's not quite working like you expected, which will happen. And when it does eventually happen, you simply click on the tweak here, tap modify in the top right corner and either reinstall it to try to solve the issue magically or remove it entirely. Finally, we have the good stuff. Search. Here is where you can type in the name of whatever tweak you're looking for and then ultimately install it. The only issue here is, what do you type? The Cydia store isn't great at showcasing apps like the App Store is, so the only real solution here is websites. Checking out some of the sites that showcase jailbreak tweaks can help you weed out what tweaks are worth your time and what just aren't. You can either Google around for some sites that specialize in jailbreak tweaks, or you can even check out my jailbreak tweak section on my site below, where I've done videos on some of my favorites that I think you should check out. Once you find one you want to try out, start typing it into the search field and tap it when it comes up. After that, if the app is free, it'll say install at the top right. If it costs money, it'll say purchase. And if it isn't supported by your version of iOS, which happens as new versions come out, developers just aren't able to update their app to support it, it'll say recheck to check if the app is now supported. If it says purchase, you'll tap that and be brought to the login screen for your Facebook Google account that we mentioned before. You'll be presented with the billing screen after that where you can choose to pay with PayPal or Amazon. And there's even a third option to pay with Amazon and have it save your payment info uh, to make the billing screen just faster on future tweak purchases. And once you've paid, the purchase will then turn into an install. And at that point, you can click that, click confirm to install the tweak. You can also click continue queuing to be able to find other tweaks. Uh, once you have all the ones you want to install, you then just tap confirm and it will install all of them at once. This is helpful if you have a bunch that you know you want to install, as generally the device needs to be rebooted or resprung, which is the act of rebooting the home screen launcher only, after each tweak is installed. Queuing them allows you to only need to reboot once after installing all of them together. Next, you'll tap the reboot respring button. When it reboots, 
you can either open the Tweaks app if it has one, or go to settings and scrolling down to the various tweaks and manage their settings, turn them off and on from here. If you ever need to uninstall one, simply tap on the installed tab, then the tweak, tap modify and uninstall, as I mentioned before. So there you have it, Cydia, in a nutshell, pretty quick. Um, you should probably go check out my jailbreak tweak section and see what jailbreaks you want to install now that you know how. Or, of course, Google around for other websites and the best of jailbreak tweaks, uh, and you'll find a bunch, and then you can just have at it. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. Um, maybe if you're a jailbreaking veteran, you could share it with someone who is just getting started. Either way, all of that is greatly appreciated. If you want more videos on jailbreaking, tech 101 in general, all of that fun stuff, click subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can also find other tips and tricks on all the latest devices in a written format on my site, The Unlocker. You can follow it on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, all at The Unlocker with the E missing in the word unlocker. Or you can chat with me personally on the same social networks with at D. Kogan. As always, thanks for watching.